Something fun, something positive, and it's all for you. My shower idea, ba da da, ba da da. Welcome to my shower idea. Yeah, it's Tasty Tuesday. And it's also Valentine's Day, but that doesn't matter for you now because you'll probably not see it on Valentine's Day. <laughs> but, um, so in honor of Valentine's Day, we are making chocolate chip cookie truffles. And uh, they're super yummy, they're super quick to make, and they're pretty easy to make. So, here's the ingredients you need. Some finely crushed up uh, cookie crumbs, chocolate chip cookies. It doesn't have to be chocolate chip cookies either. It can be peanut butter cookies, it can be sugar cookies, any type of cookies. Oreos. And all we did was we put these in the food processor for a little bit. So be careful with the food processor if you're younger. We will need cream cheese. So um, this is oddly how this is an odd way to get cream cheese. But if you are a normal person, then you get them kind of in the square boxes or the little containers. So you need about one of those. And the cookies, we just used about six normal uh, size chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so you need about one container. On this, we're going to slice off about that much of cream cheese. So, however much you think that's going to be on your cream cheese. You will need melting chocolate chips or normal chocolate chips. Either way works. You'll need a food processor, toothpicks, butter knife. And one of the most important ingredients, sprinkles! <laughs> Alright, let's get started. You left the cupboard open. Look at our stuff. <laughs> Moving on. So we put our cookie crumbs. Okay. Prepare for noise. Okay, we're going to blend this. <laughs> this is about perfect consistency. I'm going to eat more. But you want it about cookie dough consistency, okay? So it's not like, it's not runny, but you want it enough so that you can form it. You will need about that much. So if you were to get a spoon, just a normal spoon, it would be, it would be about, about that much on a spoon, okay? And all you're going to do is you're going to roll it into a little ball or really any shape you want but balls are more truffle size you just go set them on a plate you can make them any size you want to okay. so our first batch it didn't go very good so don't melt it for a, a minute, minute and 25 and seconds Ouch. it cooked it and it was grainy and we don't want it grainy Yuck. so we have about two handfuls left which is ironic put in the microwave again Ready, 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 yep. ready for this? Yep. Oh, oh, that's just perfect. perfect. So 45 seconds and at 35 seconds to take it out and stir. For Valentine's Day, you can take a right toothpick, stick it in one of your truffles, make sure it's perfectly circular, and you're gonna put it in the chocolate and coat it with a spoon like so. And if you prefer, you could just dip, but why? And then you're going to take it up. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a little bit of chocolate <sighs> to cover up the toothpick hole. And then you'll take a couple sprinkles and put it on top like that so it looks a little nicer. Okay? okay. Yeah. Now we're going to do the rest yet! Yeah. <laughs> We found out another way. You could drizzle just on top. Mm -hmm. You can make it thin or you can make it big. And I kind of like big so you can get more chocolate on it. But these are our first ones. And we Ooh, found out tasty. it's better to use a spoon and scoop them out than yeah. it is to use toothpicks. So you're going to want to refrigerate them. Look how pretty they are. For about 10 minutes. So the chocolate gets nice and hard. Ooh, so ours came out of the Don't they look so cute? And they're nice and hard, and that's what you want. 
So you're just gonna use a butter knife to scrape them off. Mental fart. Cream cheamy. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> 